YouTube. What's going on guys? It's Vinny with the Vape Academy again with another review for you. Today we have the Orchid version 3 by AetherTech. Um, I'm a fan. I really like this thing. As far as RBAs go, it's the best that I've tried. I love the airflow out of it. I love the fact that you can build basically any kind of coil setup you want. You know, it's got a, uh, a four post design like the plume veil, but you'll see that when we get in close. But yeah, it's really nice. You're not limited to the traditional chimney coil like a K-Fun or the Russian. And the airflow is there. You know, you get, you get plenty of it. It's not tight in the least. You know, I've seen people drill them out, but I really don't think it needs it. Stock, it's nice. Um, not many dry hits. It wicks well as long as you wick it right. But I'm going to show you how to do that, and you can try it on your own. It's really not that difficult. Don't let the reviews that you see online tell you different. It's really not tough as long as you know the uh, the technique of getting it. Um, I've had it leak maybe once, not a big deal. But we're going to go ahead and get in close and I'll show you a little bit more about the build deck and how to wick it. Alright guys, so here we are up close with the Orchid. Now again, this is the version 3. And the juice capacity is a little low, but I mean it's manageable. You basically get about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of just like chain vaping. But it usually lasts about half the day if you vape it pretty much normally. Alright, so you got a piece here. Let me get rid of the drip tip here. Pop that down. Here's your top cap and it's got the, uh, the heat diffuser fins. Your tank section comes off here. And then it continues to break down. It's kind of jammed on there now. But you can get these uh, metal pieces to come off of this glass in here they actually sell different color inserts and stuff like that for that pop him down now this is your chimney section you can see it's got the uh, aether tech logo on there and the chimney section is going to cover your build deck and coils now right now i have some coils built on there running at about i think it's a 1.2 ohm build which is pretty much where you want this thing to be i don't really go too low with the uh with the sub ohms on here there's really no need to but you do get a nice vape with the uh, right about like the 1.0, 1 1.2 1 ohm range. Now this build deck is nice. It's got takes a bit from the uh, from the plume veil again. It's the same company, so that that four post design. It's nice. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to run the dual coil setup. And this thing really is built for dual coils. If you can see under here, let me let me point it out for you. Down under here, under the coil, you have an air hole here. And on the other side, you have the same thing, another air hole. And it draws in from the side over here. And you do get a ton of airflow out of this thing. That's really what I like from it out of an RBA. I mean, not all of them. They're a bit, for me, they're a bit too restrictive. But this one's actually pretty nice. Now, we're going to zoom in a little closer, and I'm going to show you how to wick this thing, because that's really the, the main issue. Building it's real easy, but wicking it is something you kind of got to master before you'll actually enjoy this thing to the fullest. So let me zoom in a little bit for you. Alright guys, so here we are nice and close. And again, wicking is really what you have to master with this. The builds are relatively simple. So I like to take one piece of Japanese cotton, cut to about a little over a quarter inch, and then I take this guy and I'm going to cut it in half. Because you don't need a ton of cotton with this build, so just basically slice him in half and then we're gonna roll it up like we do any other build just to slide this thing through nice and easy now these coils are two millimeters in diameter which I found to be for me it's the uh, it's the best performing size but I mean you can experiment and figure out what you like the most really there is no wrong way to build it and as you can see these are a little long the idea is you want to get these wicks to drop down into these channels here and here but not really restrict them you just want them to be sitting in there so that you can get the juice to pull up through as you're pulling on the thing so I'm going to do the other side now I'm going to take my scissors and I always found that if you cut it with the scissors touching the base that's going to give you just about the perfect length and I'm going to do that on both sides now I'm going to take some juice. This is uh, Strawberry Fields. been loving this stuff. comes from the UK. Uh, the guy's on Facebook. That's the only way you can order it. You pay him through PayPal. But 
I mean, if you're not comfortable with that, then don't buy the juice, but I've never had a bad experience with them. I'm going to, uh, not saturate it, but just put enough on there where you can kind of manage it a little bit. All right, so let me see. Let me get it so you can see this. So you take your little screwdriver, and you just want to kind of tuck it into that channel. You don't got to jam it. And again, you don't want it too tight in there. But you'll see once we put the cap on why we're doing it like this. Now, we got all four sides done. Just go back and make sure everything's neat and tidy in there. Now I'm going to take our chimney back here and drop him on. And just kind of tighten it down. These threads are just a bit crunchy. But once you get it going, it's pretty pretty awesome. Alright, so got that down. Take our tank section, screw him on. And now I like to fill from the top. So now that we got that set up like that, I'm gonna take our juice and go right from the top. Now pick one side and just fill it. And you can see the side over here, how it starts coming down. Now the trick to doing it one side at a time is, because most of these things work off that vacuum principle, you want to keep the air on one side or the other. And then once it covers the chimney with juice, I know we're good to put our cap on. Now this is the tricky part. You're going to want to cover your two air holes with your thumb and forefinger and then pop this cap on. Just a couple rotations get it started. So two quick rotations, leave it open nice enough and then flip it. Invert it while you're still holding the two air holes and finish screwing it. And now you can take your hands off the air holes and when you invert it you might get like a drop or two of juice yeah you can see it coming out there so yeah all you're going to want to do is pop a drip tip on there wipe this off and that'll be just fine you'll see it, it stops pumping out throw it on a mod cover those air holes and real quick, just blow into it, and it'll get rid of the juice that's in those channels. Wipe it off. I'm going to back out, and we'll, uh, we'll show you how she vapes. And now you're ready to go. Um, and again, the airflow in this thing is really, really good as far as RBAs go. It's basically the nicest that I've tried as far as airflow in an RBA. A lot of them are a little tight for my taste, and that's why I'm not really a fan. But this thing is pretty much the closest I've seen to anything nice besides like the big dripper which is a completely different setup and system so I'm gonna go ahead and vape it and let you guys see uh, the clouds it produces and talk about the flavor yeah so not a bad cloud out of it um, this battery isn't really fully charged so it's not quite 4.2 volts but it's still pretty nice. A uh, ton of flavor out of it. Really, really clean flavor. Um, this does have nicotine and it doesn't really kill your throat either. The throat hits nice. You get a decent cloud out of it. It's not meant to compete with an RBA or RDA, excuse me. So don't expect that kind of vape. But the cloud is nice. The flavor is nice. And um, the parts are interchangeable with K-Funds and stuff like that. They actually make an extender piece for the, uh, the tank and the chimney to make the juice capacity a little higher. Which is nice, because like I said, you can get about a half a day out of, the, out of the juice capacity it has now. I think it's like two and a half mils, which isn't bad. But again, you, you kind of want more if you want this to be like your all-day fill-it-once-and-go device. Price isn't bad. It's comparable with any other RBA you're going to get out there on the market. Uh, right around like 30 to 40 bucks. You can get it from Fast Tech for even cheaper if you feel like waiting. But yeah, I mean, all in all, I'd say I'd give this thing about like a 7 on a 1 to 10 scale. It vapes nice. 
you can do a ton with the build deck, which is cool. You know, having that more traditional, well, four post design on there is nice because you can run the dual coil. It's the one thing I don't like about the K Fun is you're kind of limited in terms of options to like regular single coil or a chimney coil. There's not a ton you can do with it. But with this, you can get as wild as you want. But really, when you get into the lower ohms and stuff like that, it's hard for this thing to keep up as far as juice flow going to the coils. You know, unless you wick it perfectly, you're going to get some dry hits when you get down into the lower ohms. So keep it in that, like, within 0.2 of 1 ohm. You know, 1.2 or 0.8 is about as high and low as I'd go out of this thing. But really, it's killer. I, I really enjoy this thing. Um... Be sure to check us out next time. Like and subscribe. We'll have some more cool stuff for you. I'm Vinny with the Vape Academy. Thanks for joining us, guys.